हेलो एंड वेलकम टू यू इन द इम्बेडेड सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग कोर्स दिस इज लक्ष्मी कांत तिवारी टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द सिमुलिंग एंड द वेब फॉर्म जनरेशन इन द सिमुलिंग सो लेट्स टाइप सिमुलिंग इन द कमांड विंडो सॉरी सिमुलिंग ओके इट विल टेक अ सम टाइम बिकॉज इट इज अ फर्स्ट टाइम इनिशियलाइजिंग द सिमुलिंग हियर ओके वेट एंड सी The simulink will be open here very soon. Yeah. Now click on the new model. Fine. Then simulink library and find here the sign. Enter the sine wave. And let's the one chirp signal also. Okay. And find one more wave the function generator. Okay the wave generator you can say it's a wave generator so that will be come with the generator okay the signal generator fine now come to the this menu and then we have found the sine wave signal generators and the chirp signals and what we need more we need a scope okay so let's find the scope also here type the scope and let's take the scope click on the add to the model fine fine so the scope is here now click on the scope double click on the scope go to in the setting and set here the number of axis is the three because of that we have added three uh, three generator okay the signal generator sine wave and the chap signal generator and close it and you can in increase the size now connect it through this one connect through this one make this in the connect through this one okay now click on the signal generator let's take this one is the signs square and the sawtooth in the random let's make this as a sawtooth generator and use the simulation time amplitude and the frequency fine and it's the external signal or the simulink time simulation time you can use and amplitude and the frequency let's say increase the frequency about the 10 10 uh, 10 hertz okay click on the okay now click on the sine wave and amplitude is one fine frequency let's make the frequency is the five radian per seconds and uh, the phase is fine sample time let's make a sample time is 0 0.001 that's in the one millisecond that's mean in one sample there will be the one thousands in one second one thousand samples and in the chirp signals initial frequency let's make the one hertz and uh, target frequency is the 10 hertz and the uh, target time is the 10 seconds okay now click on the run it will take us uh, some time yeah fine fine completed now you can see here in your oscilloscope the square wave and the sine wave has been generated this is the this is the ram signal ram signal has been generated and the second part was the sine wave and third part was the chirp signal means the with the increasing frequency now you can simulate it in very long time range using here let's type here 100 now it will simulate up to the 100 second okay now click on this point let's take this part as you can see here it simulated up to the 100 seconds and chirp frequency is just increasing one by one you can see increase the resolution you can zoom in okay thank you so much and uh, we will design a fire filter in next tutorial